Well, hello everyone, thank you for stopping by. They call me Kane. It's a pleasure and honor being with you here today. Prison Simulator Prologue is what we're going to be checking out today. Um, I have done a Prison Simulator uh, game uh, about seven months ago, and uh, there's been a lot more changes to it. Uh, since then and so we're kind of just looking back at it and seeing what has been added and any new things or any cool things that we uh you know need to need to be aware of in this game for sure uh so this is my first time bringing back here uh being back here here excuse me for about seven months now um if you're new to the channel, welcome. It's a pleasure and honor being with you today. We have over 600 videos of different kinds of content. Uh, so you, you, know, if you should come over to the channel and check it out. You might find something that you might like. Uh, if you are a returning subscriber, hello once again. Uh, you freaking awesome people. <laughs> but here we go. Let's go ahead and stop talking and jump into Prison Simulator. So what is Prison Simulator? Uh, basically... <clears throat> Hey, you're you're a correctional officer, and you are in. Uh, you run. You don't run the show because you know it's a it's a cat and mouse game for the most part. When you are in uh, you are in prison or in jail, wherever you may be, jail and prison is different. Yes, the county jail and prison and whatnot. Uh, if you didn't know, now you know. Uh, but yeah, so it's always a cat and mouse game of who's running the the situation. Is it the officers or is it the prisoners or the inmates? I should say. Uh, yeah, so here we are. We can do difficulty. There's officer difficulty, which is easy. Uh, prisoner health, NPC damage, ammo, uh, sergeant, and then uh, captain. I would say uh, maybe sergeant is the way to go, and maybe that's the way to do. So let's just jump into this. I, I can't imagine I'll be any good at this game. Um, when it says guns and ammo, I, I, I'll be honest with you. I'm freaking terrified. <laughs> <laughs> I am definitely terrified indeed. Uh, so here we go. Beginning the prisoner the prisoner creator here. Welcome to the prisoner creator. Here you can choose up to appearance of the convicts. So this is one thing I really like about this game is, uh, you know, creating uh, prisoners and stuff like that, which makes it really fun. Um, if you were, like, doing a live stream of this, of this game, because, like, any supporters or any subscribers that you would have, you can actually make them prisoners and, uh, you know, have them for whatever crime they've done. Uh, character neutral crime murder, which is kind of crazy. Or you could do randomizer, of course. You could do a bunch of randomizer and, uh, you know, do that, which, you know, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to do randomizer of all. Uh, you got aggressive characteristics. You know, he's a robbery. Uh, again, aggr aggressive. <laughs> neutral. He's in for rape. That's... Hmm. Absolutely terrible. Apparently, this guy's harmless, but he's in for murder. Maybe he's wrongly convicted. I don't freaking know, dude. Harmless, harmless, drug dealing neutral. And, you know, those all types of things, right? Anyways, I think that's, uh, that, that's pretty much good for now. Uh, let's go ahead and finish that. Beginning, gang creator. And this is another cool thing that you could do d definitely for interaction with, uh, you know, if you were live streaming this once again, stuff like that. You can make gangs uh, who joins, you know, in gang creator. You could choose who joins the one of the three gangs, and that's really cool. Uh, you know, something that you just, again, you don't have this in, in, in any other games, really. Well, you could have the gang, squirrels, foxes, bears. I'll be honest with you, those are kind of like, <laughs> not, <laughs> kind of, uh, you know, and <laughs> soft <laughs> in a way. Can I randomize them all? Yeah, I can randomize them, them all. You got the bears who have the middle finger, the foxes that have the bulldogs, and the squirrels that have a freaking wolf. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I, I like the fact that you can randomize these, um, and maybe I should, and I'll, I'll do that, and maybe we'll do like, I don't know, the bulldogs right the bulldogs for this gang and uh maybe these guys instead of the foxes will be the the fucks i you know maybe too far there um maybe the holdems i don't know hold this l and then these guys can be the 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 i don't even know dude like i can't really think of a good name for that maybe you could do the 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 killers. <laughs> I don't know, dude. But all these inmates will be in these gangs, as you can see. Um, and I guess there's one guy that isn't in a gang. That's, you know, good for him. But here we are. We're going into this. And, uh, you know, <laughs> this game can definitely be on edge. On edge, for sure, at all times. And uh, even when you are doing, I guess, this as a profession in real life, because I know and I have friends that do have this as a profession in real life, you are on edge all the time. Right? You are definitely on edge um, in, you know, 12 hour days and then six days a week. You know, it's 
it's something right it, it can definitely wear and tear on the body for sure mentally and physically but let's 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 not talk about that let's treat this as a game as a game would be so welcome to the prison simulator prolong the game is currently in development so the mechanics in general looks may change in the future <clears throat> So welcome. Your main task is to carry out routines assigned for the, your day. Check in the journal to find out more. Most of your actions are evaluated by other guards and prisoners, which affects your level of respect. The overall level of respect, bottom left corner of the screen, is the average of your individual relationship with the prisoners. During your free time, you can relax by playing mini games or doing side quests. More of these activities will be available in the future for the future game. All right, so here we are. We are here. Uh, this is Prison Simulator. Uh, I mean, this is the introduction, really. Uh, we can pick up a fire extinguisher. I, I, I don't think we need to. I will mess with the settings real quick. Um, take a look at the graphics and see how we're doing. The V-Sync is not on, but now it is on. That will give us a little bit of better uh, view here. We'll do like a field of view all the way up because that's, I, you know, personally, I like just how that is. And we'll do that. So there we go. We get a little bit smoother gameplay action going on here. As you can see in the bottom left-hand corner, we have level one uh, experience, respect. Uh, the prison prison guards, the other COs, they respect us. The prisoners, not so much. <clears throat> um, so this is Richard Bryant, apparently. Let's go ahead and talk to Richard Bryant. Reporting for duty, sir. <laughs> he just laughed at us. Relax, call me Richard or Dick. Uh, we're on duty, but we don't stick to yes sirs that much. Uh, that's terrible. That's it's actually terrible. <laughs> How are you holding up? Feeling the pressure of your first day at work? Um, a little bit. There's nothing to worry about. You'll feel right at home. I can guarantee you that. By the way, on the first day of work, everyone has a meeting with the warden, and he expects the same from you. Do you know where his office is? Uh, no, I don't. Check on the map. I gave you that before. At least I think so. You should have it under M. <laughs> Or if you change something in your settings, you can find it there by yourself. Or, you know what, it'll be best if I'll take you to it. So, by the way, you've joined the team at a slightly unusual time. Keep your eyes peeled and pay attention to the prisoners. Just between the two of us, something is going on in the prison. I don't know exactly what, but watch yourself. Okay, enough of that. Come on, follow me. Could you imagine, like, being, like, new boots, right? Being a rookie and, like, being, hey, there's something going on, and I don't know what the hell's going on, but just, like, you, you joined at the wrong time. Not encouraging words, my man. Not encouraging words, I do have to say. Uh, so here's the warden's office. Hello. <clears throat> Hello, sir. Uh, whistles. Excuse me, what? <laughs> Kenneth Duncan. Oh, New guy. How good to see you. So, how do you like it here? Well, I just got here. Where's the toilet? Um, it, oh, oops, I don't know which one I did. So you like the job. That's good. But not everyone does. Let's say newcomers react in all sorts of ways when they start working here. Moving on. What was I talking about? What's the situation in the prison? It's very good, to be honest. We're having a lucky streak. High subs, subs, subsidize? The prisoners aren't are content. They are currently no outstanding issues. What are oh, my duties? You have plenty of them. But let's start with what you are doing today. Let me look at the vid document. Today you have a longer shift. Okay, a new prisoner is arriving in the morning. Take care of him. Check all documents, prints, ID, data, everything you can. If they're legit, send him off to his cell oh, block. Next, okay. keep your eyes on the boys in the yard. Block B can really stir up shit, so oh, be careful. Come on. In the afternoon, oh, a new delivery him. of items from the prisoners, relatives, arrives. Inspect them. You can't even imagine what their wives try to smuggle. Giggity. Understood. Understood. Don't interrupt me. I finally gathered some prisoners to work in the workshop and make sure they don't fuck around. We need every penny we can make sure make now to wait. What? We can make now to renovate the prison and buy new equipment. Take a break, drink some coffee and work out with the guys at the gym or something. Is that everything? I almost forgot. Go to the guys in the guards room in the afternoon. They'll instruct you on some skills that are worth knowing while you work there. Okay, you can go now. You have a lot to do. Task completed. All right, introduction. Go to and wait. Go to the search room. Apparently, the search room is is an, is an actual thing. Oh, we can actually run in this game. I love that. <laughs> wow, we can run like a madman. Don't think it's like necessary for us to run. Like people might be worried that we're like responding to a code three or something. Hello. Routine. Committing new prisoners. To start accepting new prisoners, call the waiting person with a microphone. That's E, okay. Check the new prisoner's fingerprints, name, and ID number. 
If, er if everything is okay, confirm the document. Otherwise, reject the application and call the guard with the microphone. Search the prisoners allowed or prisoners allowed personal belongings. Take out a list and check all items. Also, remember to, ch to search the prisoner himself. After the search, hand over basic equipment to the prisoner. Call the guard with a microphone to guide the new inmate to the designated confirm block. That's actually kind of cool. I like that. <coughs> I like that a lot, actually. Okay, so approach to the desk and then use the microphone to call in a new prisoner. Basic supplies for the new... Okay, so these are their basic supplies. This is unchecked, and that's the check shelf. Uh, the package checking. Okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. Call in a newbie. Is that what it said? <laughs> oh, hello, prisoner. Helmet Zuzisti. I'm not going to be doing any, any doing there. So let's go ahead and... Uh, can we search the man first? I'd rather search him first. Contraband. A nut bar. This is a legal status. Wait, what? Contraband. Found a nut bar. Status legal. Okay, so we can leave that. Is that all he had on him? Okay, yeah, I guess that's all he had. He's a drug dealer. Uh, he's very I neutral. Let's go ahead and talk to him. You got a problem? Don't, don't talk to me like that. I'm your... I'm your man, man. All right, so let's go ahead and check. Check compliance of fingerprints with control sheet uh, fingerprints. Check the correctness of the name data on the fingerprint sheets. Check if the ID number is correct on the fingerprint sheet. All right, so we got helmet Zalstein, uh, male da, 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 nationality American apparently. Uh, helmet Zalstein. So it looks like the fingerprints match up. Prisoner admitted to the block. Block A, block B, block C. Execution block. Oh, my God. Number 376-833. Going to block A. Yeah, I think this guy is pretty legit. Secure means that you confiscate the item and officially report it to the prison. Take means that you attempt to secretly keep the item and take for yourself. Ah, okay, okay. That's kind of cool. Uh, put down the folder. I think he is good to go. All right, so what, is, what do we got here? So take, take, allowed items, take. Okay, so what, wait, 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 wait. Check the prisoner's belongings, search the items. Okay, so let's take this. So ap apple candy. Yeah, yeah, he's okay to have this. And milk chocolate. Milk chocolate Reese's with a crunchy mm -hmm. nut, with crunchy nuts. Okay, so I think that, that's pretty much good, right? Take the allowed list. Take any personal Bye. stuff. Okay, contra. Okay, I see contraband. Take contraband. Open. Oh, we can open it. Oh, I forgot you can open stuff. Is there anything in there? No contraband. Okay. So, all right. Then, uh, then wait, wait, wait. So, take means that you attempt to secretly keep. No, no, no. We don't want to do that. We want to leave it to him. Let's pick that up. Let's open this bad boy up. Looks like it's all candies for the most part. Can we continue opening that up or no? We're all good. All right, so there we go. All right, fantastic. Search the prisoner, which we've done already, but we'll do it again. Give the prisoner's su supplies off the shelf. Here you go. Call the guard in from the microphone. There we go. All right, so that was pretty good. All right, so I understand it now. It took a little bit of time to realize that, but yeah. Call another prisoner. All right, so this is probably going to be our real test, right? Call in another newbie. Hello, sir. Daniel Anderson. Check the prisoner's papers. All right, let's go ahead and check Daniel Anderson. So Daniel Anderson, he is 4560034560003. 4560003. Going to block C. His fingerprints match up. They do match up, so that is good for sure. I think you're good there, my man. Uh, we will accept you on that. There you go. Now we will check your belongings. Let's go ahead and take our thing. Get our glasses. Can we actually open these? Oh, we can. Any Anything that we need to know about? Nope. And, like, yeah, we could take their stuff and, like, use it for our own personal gain, for, like, our own money that we can get, I think, which is kind of sleazy, let's be honest. Uh, ooh, this is kind of, uh, like, hollowed out. I don't like the fact that this is hollowed out. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. 
This looks kind of weird. And then let's open up the candies. Seems okay with the candies. Oh, that was shower gel. Okay, so that wasn't deodorant. That was just shower gel. Okay, so I understand there. Uh, let's search him. Give the person her supplies. Yes, yes, yes. There you go. He's in for robbery and he's harmless. All right, so let's get them going. Have a great day. Well, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> he's not going to have a great day. All right, prisoner in, in, in introduction all done. Free time. Now it's time for your free time. You can play mini games and do all kinds of stuff. When you notice that someone has an exclamation point above his head, it means he has a quest for you. By doing side quests, you can earn money and gain respect. Okay. All right. Holy crap. Oh my god. Free time. Uh, I'll be honest. Okay, that is not available in the prologue. Uh, <laughs> I'll be honest. Uh, we could send. I guess take a nap. But like the bass. Oh god. You can buy food if you need. Eating restores your HP. Okay. Do that. So you, as you can see at the bottom right, you can see that we have health and we have stamina. There is like basketball I'm kind of interested in. So I'm running over to that quickly. Talk to Jason Deckard. Hey, do you want to get some money? Nothing illegal. Innocent basketball. Yeah, this is actually what I came here for. Yes. Uh, what are you offering? Maybe a little contest to make things a little bit more exciting. Let's put some action on it. I bet you won't shoot five hoops in a minute. Get your money ready, dude. Okay, how much? Uh, shit. I don't even know how much money I have. $50. Oh my god. That's one. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so silly. That's two. Oh my god. I can just like put it in there. That's three. Oh my god, I gotta go. That's four. 20 seconds to get one more in. Oh my god. Oh my god. 10 seconds. Oh, thank god. With five seconds to spare. <laughs> I think we won $50 from a freaking inmate. On the prison yard, you made task. It is looked to for suspicious situations to react accordingly. Warning, direct, force, disciplinary punishment. Pay attention to inappropriate behavior and other inf infra infractions like sneaking, fighting, suspicious discussions, destroying property, or urinating. If it's calm enough, you can relax, but there is a chance that you won't notice wrong situations. Pay attention to the time to the end uh, routine properly. You have to let the prisoners be outside in the minimum time. If you let them stay longer, your respect level will in will increase. Oh, okay. Go to the prison yard. So am I like prison yard duty? I have $150. That is fantastic. I love that. Right? Because I'm here. I'm here at the prison yard. There's a couple COs. What is the CO here? You you want 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 to to want to get some money? Uh, it depends. What do you want? I want to see Joseph lying with a smash face. Oh Jesus Christ! I'm not interested. I'm not here to you know you know kick any ass right right yet. I feel like I don't want to say like I feel like this might this might happen in in real life, but but uh, you know who knows at this point. So I am like trying to keep an eye on all the inmates. I, you know, I don't know. Something could be suspicious. Something could pop off. I'm just kind of here for, for just, just looking out, right? Looking out after the inmates. Uh, as you can see in the bot uh, top left hand corner, we have a time, right? Time that they have out here. Minimum time that they need to do their thing. So far, so good. So far, I'm not seeing anything uh, suspicious. I think it, you know, I think in real life, I don't think uh, the COs would be in the yard i think they might be outside of the yard and uh, if anything were to happen they would go inside but i don't think they would be roaming around here routine prison yard to end the routine choose the command rally tab okay okay we could do that 
So I think, yeah, we're at our minimum right now. So now I, the percentage is going up because they're like, oh, yeah, we respect what's going on. You guys are giving us an extra little bit here. We respect it. I mean, there's a lot of freaking, a lot, a lot of people to keep an eye on. And that's the thing, like, with corrections is, like, <laughs> it's, there's such a high turnover rate. Oh, God, this guy's doing some illegal stuff. Excuse me. What do you want, you stupid bitch? Oh, uh, excuse me. We're searching you, my man. Okay, we're we're ending it, ending it. This man, he ended it for everyone. If you complete all your plan routines or emergencies, go to the briefing room at the end of the day. Prison stroll, task completed. Great. Another gun. You moving second? I Get the. I rip your. Okay, there's a lot of vulgar language in here. Can I search? I, I thought I searched him, right? He's aggressive and he's in for murder. And he hates someone. Okay, this, this is getting a little out of hand. I, I am a little bit, uh, take supplies from a prisoner by pressing E and also give a key. Yes. Um, I think we're, I think we can just move on, right? They'll, they'll deal with themselves. A little unfortunate. Sometimes, you know, one breaks it up for, or one, you know, one person ruins it for everybody, right? That's kind of like the whole thing. And that, that does not go well in, in jail, I tell you what. Briefing room, here we are. All right, so here we are at the briefing room, or debriefing probably, because this is the end of our shift. Barry Scott, hello. Oh, come on. So, ready for Hold your daily him. report? Yes, give it to me, it's over. Oh, level up, nice. All right, so your money, we got $150 for today. We got respect. Um, riot risk went down. That's fantastic. Statistics, prisoner searched, uh, prison equipment, uh, routines done. Uh, we've done everything that we were asked for, I think. So our POR, which points of respect, apparently, uh, we're doing pretty good. So I think that was not bad. Not bad. It could be better. Okay, cool. I, I think we did pretty well for day one, I guess. Uh, yeah, talk to the guard in the social room. All right, let's do that. Oh, my God, you scared me. It's called the, the guards room. Ah, this is like a little break time. Free time social room. Here you and your friends can rest. Look for available entertainment like playing cards or darts. Okay, cool. I like how there's like a lot of like different mini games going on, right? Or you could do. Hi, Richard told me that I needed to talk to you. Oh, really? And that means you're ready to learn some tricks for us. Oh, God. Uh, do, you, do you teach anything other than beating prisoners more effectively? How do they work? There are nothing more than skills that will help you survive in here, which, by the way, should be very useful. Prisoners are twitchy. Try to solve conflicts by talking first. I can teach you, but you need two things first, skill points and money. You didn't think I'd tell you out your secrets for free, did you? What are those skill points and how do I get them? You get a skill point every time you level up. And when you level up, after you gain some experience each day, when you're at a certain level, have enough skill points, and of course the right money, you can buy a skill which uh, will help you do your job a little more easier. I think you're ready for your first skill. How much does it cost? First one's on the house, it'll cost you only a skill, which you should have at least one by now. Because you're new and you should be getting a little more sense of right now, right away, we'll start everything from the beginning. See for yourself. So you got active perks, you got passive perks. We'll do the active perk, right? Which is searching and intimidating level one. Uh, what would be the other one? Health boost, yeah. So searching and intimidating level one. I think that's probably something that we, we should have. So there we go. Get it? Now you're gonna handle those unruly prisoners, prisoners a bit better. So you get it? Yes, I got it. Good, remember you can always talk to me to check if there's something new for you to learn. One more thing. Lately, there seem to happen uh, rather interesting events transpiring That's in our prison. Idea. I'm not talking about difficult prisoners. If you ever happen to hear or see something you shouldn't well, have, that. well, you're going to decide for yourself then. Just remember there are always ways to make friends and enemies in time, here. Man. And you don't want to have enemies among your superiors, so believe me. 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 Well, good luck. Yeah. All right, go to the parcel searching room. All right, so this is going to be our day where we are going to be searching some incoming uh, packages, right? Uh, incoming packages from the wives, from the loved ones, and stuff like that. Will there be nudity? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. So here we go. We're going to be uh, searching through these. So these are all the unchecked parcels. So let's go ahead and check these out. Put it on the table. Routine package search. Basically, it's something very similar to what we uh, what we did with the uh, the inmates themselves when they brought in their stuff. So let's take a look here. Uh, capsules. We got some, you know, maybe some, I don't know, heart 
problems things are here looks seems to be seems to be okay yep i think that's okay uh what do we got here we got some like maybe some what is that old spice body wash something oh unless this is the this is deodorant uh, this might be deodorant that seems okay and then some uh, some food which seems to be okay. I mean, I don't know how good it's going to be after, you know, we just did that. But there we go. That is a-okay. I think that is all checked. There we go. Put that there. Grab this one. Put this on the table. Open that bad boy up. I'm, I'm like Jones and I'm like ready to get some contraband up in this. Uh, let's open this bad boy up. Seems to be a-okay. Check the lid. Check everything else on it. That one's okay. Take this, some ibuprofen maybe. Uh, oh my God, with a needle inside it. Uh, yeah, this is definitely contraband. Uh, we will secure it. There we go. And then some white chocolate. I don't think there's anything in the white chocolate. I think we're okay here. So we got a needle. That's our first like real bad boy, I guess. That's disgusting. It just looks disgusting. Risotto in a can? I, sure. Apple candies? Anything in the apple candies? Doesn't seem like it at all. So I think we're okay. Uh, other than the needle, of course. That was terrible. Now, where does the needle go, I wonder? I don't know. Put it there. As you can see, you can kind of be a dirty cop. Uh, you know, clean, uh, good cop, bad cop type thing. Check there, check there. We are all okay there. Some seafood, tuna. Take this. More medicine with... I see like red down there, but maybe that's the bottle. Orange candies. Seems to be okay. And some chicken tits. Oh, with a freaking razor in it. All right, let's go ahead and secure that. Take, leave, or secure secure we're gonna be the good cop right we gotta be the good guy we're, we're like new boots you know this is our job uh the first day on, well second day on the job i guess now and then put that there fantastic all right cool newbie report i need you uh-oh what's the problem over at least one responsible person in this shithole some jerk lost prison keys and not just one pair of them took a quick stroll around and found this shit as soon as you can wait what Take a quick stroll around and find this shit as soon as you can before some prisoners find it. Don't slack off. We don't have much time. Oh, God. Okay, uh... uh Alright. Canteen. Anybody in the canteen? Hello. I am guessing high, I can't tell why. Find keys. Canteen in the prison yard. Okay. I mean, dude, it could be anywhere! They could be anywhere on these guys. What if I talk to this? I'll tell you a story. Do they, are they, will they help me? Get the fuck out? Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, what is this? Oh, I found them. Oh, thank God. Oh, so they're in each. Okay, so they're in, they're in each. Okay, they're in each uh, area. This might be the workshop over here. This is not the way to the workshop. I am new here. I am very new here. There's the workshop. Not enough stamina. Okay, that's okay. That's all right. That's all right. Let's just take our time. Hello, I'm just looking for some keys. Looking for keys. There they are. Great. Now I need to go back to the prison yard all the way across the freaking place here. Oh, my God. Open up. Running, running, running. Okay, prison yard, prison yard. Where? I mean, who leaves keys like this? Just laying around. Unless you are a dirty CO. Oh, I don't know. Can I put this away? <laughs> Can I put the, the walkie-talkie away or do I have to keep it out? I think I see him on the bench over there. <gasps> oh. Caramel cake. Add to the door. Nice. Oh, right there. Good job, newbie. Big thanks. Didn't really think you would succeed. That's rude. No problem. Bring those keys to the room at the end of the day, over and out. Wait, damn. You found four pairs of keys, right? Uh, no, I only found three. One fucking pair is missing. Probably one of those, these idiots has lost them somewhere. Get back to work. 
So this is, I, I, you know, this is considered free time. Um, we could like take a nap, right? We could definitely take a nap. Uh, we could. I, it looks like there's a gun. There's a target. There's darts. Um, and stuff like that. Let's go see. We do have a candy bar. That's kind of cool, right? Let's see what happens when you take a nap. I mean, I'm assuming we just skip your free time. Okay, so that's what taking a nap is. Yeah, let's just do that. Why not? Achievement unlocked. All right, go to the cell block. Oh, God, here we go. Go into the cell block. Whoa. I wonder what cell block this is. Cell block A, B, or C. <clears throat> I probably doesn't even make a freaking difference, but just to know, right? This is cell block B. All right. All right, so routine. Evening presence check. This routine is a little different from the morning one. Now you have to make sure that all prisoners return to their cells. They should be in front of them as soon as you show up. Use the clicker to... Uh, to cross a prisoner off the list okay great uh when somebody isn't standing under his cell and just walks around bring him out it's best to remind him who's in charge around here to count the prisoners you're gonna press q on the clicker approach each prisoner and press lb to to count them okay remember to close the cells when everyone is inside all right so everyone right now is conjugating oh my god all right so hello uh can I get my clicker out? Yeah. One, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We do not have Jason. Jason. And we do not have Paul. Paul and Jason, get to your cells immediately. Okay, uh, if a prisoner does not stick to the rules, he should be punished. But first, you need to pacify him with a nightstick or a taser. In some cases, a talk is not is enough, but usually it's not. Select the walkie-talkie and then hit Q and go to the aggressive person. Use the walkie-talkie and choose one of the available punishments. The prisoner will get a penalty marker over his head. This prisoner cannot be punished anymore today. If you choose solitary confinement as a punishment, talk to the prisoner after you have finished your routine and take him, take him to the marked solitary cell and then lock the door. Oh, wow, that's actually really cool. All right, hello. How you doing, boss? You ready? Ready for what? Go to yourself. Uh, there's hello. There's there's a man running with. Oh my god. Uh, time out. Uh, nightstick. Uh, taser. I I mean nightstick. Let's pull out the nightstick. Okay, everyone, everyone down on the ground. <laughs> oh my god. No, come here. You will be punished for your unacceptable behavior. You're talking to me? Yes, I am talking to you. The penalty of isolation, no leaving the cell, no pass, no phones. I was wrong, doesn't matter. No leaving the cell. I'm not gonna put him in cell, you know. You can't leave yourself for the rest of the day. Don't get angry with me, dude. You just effed up. And you, Paul, you will be punished as well. You will have the same punishment as well. You will be not. You will not be leaving the cell today. Thank you very much. And uh, let's go ahead and come back to the counter. Count them. Count them. And one more count over here. Last person, David, and counted. No, hey, 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 Where are you? Hello, hey, hi. <clears throat> you stop it. All right, so he's done, and he is going to be taken to, oh my God. Oh my God, he's, he's fighting, he's fighting back. Bring out the night stick. Uh, other COs, you know, you could help. I, you know, it, it, it'd be it'd be grateful of you to do so. I knocked the hell out of him, though. Good you're gonna be punished, and, and you actually ass you assaulted me, so you're actually going to the pen penalty of isolation, my man. You're being transferred to solitary. Maybe you can think about your behavior there. I'll escort you and <clears> reach <throat> your meds. 
You want to punish me for something? I'd rather be better for a reason like this. Better. Oh my. Oh. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Again. Again. He's fighting. Never again. I will kill you. <laughs> you better go back. You know what? You go back. Okay, this is not... No, no, no. You don't understand. This is not... No, you, you, my man. You're being searched. Right? You're a bad, bad man. All right, let's just... Let's just end it. Let's actually take that soda there. All right, so everyone should be locked up. Talk to the prisoner who's been sent to salt. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> come, to him about come on, solitary's waiting. Yep, you're going oh, dude, he's doing it again. This guy is a freaking madman. Uh, like pepper spray his ass now. I'm, I'm, I'm done. You're done, dude. I'm done fighting with you. You're done. Prison bully, that's BS. Achievement unlocked. Can I like put him in handcuffs? I should be like able to put him in handcuffs by this point, right? There you go. Let's go to solitary confinement. You asshole, dude. This guy is a douche. I, I shouldn't be walking behind him. He should be walking in front of me, honestly. But this is where you belong. Got Get in there. Think about what you did. Locked it. <laughs> I am now the best CO of all time. Go to the briefing room and talk to the guards. Yeah, let them know what kind of like day we had. That was like messed up. How do I get to my uh maybe I don't. Oh hello. Matthew Hoffman. Good god. Those guys were assholes. At least maybe one guy was an asshole. Like, not all of them, but like one of them, dude. He just wouldn't stop. I, I could have killed him. I don't know why we can't put him in handcuffs. We should be able to. Hello, Barry Scott. I understand that you've already done everything today. Yes, everything today is over. So there we go. We got almost a level up. Not quite there yet. But we have... $200 today. So we got $450 in, in total. The guard's respect is going up. Uh, the prisoner's respect is going down. And the riot risk is pretty high, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, no, but there we go. Uh, you know, prisoner search. Routine's done. Beaten prisoners. Five. That's terrible prison equipment. I don't even know what that means. But there we go. That is uh, day two. Day one and oh, day two okay. of being a correctional officer in prison. Oh, my God. Reporting for duty. I suppose I don't have to explain what's happening. We have a riot. The whole prison is being destroyed by those mother effers. <laughs> there are fights and fires everywhere. I know you're inexperienced, but you'll have to take care of the situation. What exactly do you have to do? First, you'll call for help. We need more people. Without them, we won't be able to get this situation under control. Next, take a look around and go to the yard. Try getting some of those idiots to stand down. What about weapons? What do you expect me to use? My bare hands? I was about to say, the weapons are in the locker room where you can get them right now. There are a few more lockers in the Block B guard room near the vending machines and inside the packaging room. Okay, what's next? You're going to find the keys that were stolen or lost by the guards and then retake them over. Oh my god. I'm sorry, lad. We're too short staffed. Our boys will help you. <coughs> Remember, you're not invisible. There's death in those corridors. If you lose consciousness once or twice, nothing bad will happen, probably. Uh, but try not to get yourself killed. Ah, and don't forget to extinguish any fires. Unlock the doors. Good luck. All right, so let's go ahead and just like grab this immediately. Oh yeah. Grab the gun. Okay, we're just shooting them now. You know what? You put this on yourself. I'll be honest with you. This is all you guys is doing. Lock picking. Oh god, I need a lock pick. When moving the mark, you uh, reaches the line. Repeat it a few times. Okay, I think I can do that.
What did I just do? Shake the spray. <laughs> what, 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 what? Okay, hold. Oh, okay. Dude, the music's freaking crazy. Okay, there we go. We're in. Pull out the gun. Call. Oh, we need someone. There's a riot in the prison. Right for that. How much have they destroyed? What's the situation? Dude, everything is going on. It's hard to say. Sending rescue and supplies. Run, run, run. This shit's off the hook. Oh my god. Oh my god! That guy legitly scared the crap out of me. That's a headshot right there. Run. Oh my god, this 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 game has escalated quickly. I will just take him out from afar. Oh, we gotta reload. Too much. Too much. I don't know if this is like a real gun or a riot gun, I guess. Oh god, the COs are here. Like, I'm assuming it's a real gun. In a situation like this, it should be a real gun. Uh, oh god, I gotta go back. Prison yard is secured for the most part. Alright, so now we gotta like get the fire extinguisher out, right? Where's the fire extinguisher? Do I not have a fire extinguisher? Ah! Blow it out, blow it out! Get it out! Bring the gun out. Oh, got another one of these. Okay, so we just gotta, we gotta go. Then shake and release. Yep. I don't. I don't understand this part. Like, I don't. I, I've never obviously lock picked a freaking thing before. Is this normal? Is this what you're supposed to do in a lock pick? Is it like loosen it up, loop it up? I don't even know, dude. Okay. 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 Get in there. Nope. 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 I regret my decision. There we go. Oh, 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 nope, not good. I'll be honest, I might be running low on ammo. I don't even know. Yo, the keys. And the keys and, and some lemonade. Okay, so the canteen is done. Move on over to the next cell block. Oh, dude, just don't even talk to me. How good is the accuracy? You tell me. <laughs> I would like prefer like better guns, but I guess this is doing. Go, go, go. Okay, so long. I'm, I'm scared. Yep. Rambo? Achievement unlocked. I'm just reading off achievements at this point. Lock myself in this room, please. Grab the keys. There we go. Just, just toggle that. See what happens. Maybe we'll lock them in there. I don't even know, dude. Run back. Oh, my God. Workshop. Yep, workshop. COs. Yes, we have COs here. I'll be honest, like, this is kind of scary. I'm, like, a little nervous. See yo. Okay. I think we're just securing this, right? Oh, my God. I have one bullet left. 
Oh my god, I have no bullets left. Oh my god. Bring out the nice stick. All right, here we go. Time to go to town. Time to time to fight. Time to fight. Oh, we did it. Not on my watch. It should been unlocked. Barely did it. Everybody is like dead or knocked out. I don't even know, dude. Is there like a debrief? <laughs> debrief? Yeah, uh, I'd like to debrief of what just happened today. Today was a hell of a day. <laughs> oh my God, what is a debrief on this? Uh, hello, Barry. Oh, come on. You did well. Come on the boys team. from the assault team are on their way. Okay. Want to call for a transport in the end of the day or do you want to search the prison a little bit more? Uh, you know what? I I'm tired. Let's end this day. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's a good idea. So $100 right there. We got a $550. Respect from the guards. Respect from no... I mean, everything is... It is what it is. Uh, but I think that's the riot risk. Excuse the dogs barking in the background. They think they know everything. Whew. Um, I think that will do it. Uh, three days later. Holy crap, my guy. Everything's like all fixed and, uh, and back to normal, I guess, for the most part. That's going to do it. Thank you guys so much for stopping by with me today and experiencing Prison Guard Simulator. If you want to see more of this, you got to make sure to hit that like. Comment down in the section below. You want to see, hey, I want to see what the continuation of Prison Guard Simulator is all about. And I will make sure to do that for you. But until then, I will see you in the next one. Do take care. Hey.